Like seriously, I still can't comprehend how tremulous the state of electricity in Nigeria is running. This grid, not the ever tire to collapse. Hello, welcome to my channel once again, once again. Charlie, 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 Charlie. I think African politicians, we should start letting them know or making them know how serious certain situations are and we don't like what they are doing to us. See, Nigeria as a nation should be one of the best countries that you can ever visit in the whole of Africa. Because when you look at their resources and what they have as a nation and even the youthful population that they have, over 200 million people, over 200 million people and a whole country for the fourth time this year 2024 their national grid has just collapsed four times why see if this thing happens in ghana we will be mad so currently as i'm speaking with you nigeria certain parts of nigeria don't have light because the national grid has collapsed Nas the whole a whole national grid though i just want us to watch some of these videos citizens complaining and also news portals also talking about this same issue then we come back and talk Vision companies nationwide announced that the national grid collapsed at about 9 30 a.m today the collapse was attributed to a system failure on the national grid but this is not the first time the national grid will collapse this year today's incident makes it the seventh time nigerians have witnessed such power disruptions this year on monday at about 6.18 p.m., the national grid collapsed, throwing the country in blackout. After the restoration of power, the national grid collapsed again at about 9.17 a.m. this Tuesday. According to the Keja Electric Distribution Company, the national grid collapse affected power supply nationwide. Nigeria's national grid has collapsed and put the country in darkness. On the afternoon of Monday the 11th of December, the electricity reduced from 4,000 megawatts to 43 megawatts. This is a recurring issue with the national grid failing several times this year and 138 times in the past decade. Also, the Transmission Company of Nigeria recently celebrated 400 days of no collapse. Distribution companies confirmed the grid failure around 1 p.m. Has this affected you in any way? Let's know in the comments. Nigeria has been plunged into darkness, yet again following the sixth national grid collapse of 2024. Kunle Olubiyo, president of the Nigerian Consumer Protection Network, has blasted the transmission company of Nigeria, TCN, for its continued failure to address the grid's instability. Picking on October 14, Olivia described the situation as a result of TCN years of lip services and poor investment in critical infrastructure. Olivia pointed out that the grid has collapsed more than 227 times in the last 14 years, causing widespread frustration as Nigerians endure prolonged blackouts and miss skyrocketing electricity tariffs. Stay tuned for more updates. In case you don't have lights, they said the national grid has collapsed for the 986th time this year. So a lot of doctors are currently on ground to make sure they revive the collapsed national grid. There's no really news to tell you. So in case you don't have lights, national grid don't collapse. The doctors, nurses, everybody, CPR, they are doing everything to revive the national grid. They keep collapsing every AK market day, national grid collapse. Any small rain, any small blip, national grid collapse. You know, you guys go take sneeze. <laughs> national grid will collapse so I, I promise actually i will not be making new videos about national grid collapsing but i think i have free time now so i just said let me tell you in case you don't have light they say national grid you don't collapse <laughs> anyway i will ask you to enjoy your weekend but you'll be in darkness but anyway tell me if you have light in your area but if you don't have don't forget to enjoy your weekend Thank you. For your information, National Grid just collapsed. Yes, this is the major reason why Nepal took light generally all over Nigeria at the same time. And people are asking now, what will be the major cause why Nepal took light? Yes, I want to tell you now, National Grid has collapsed. That is the major reason why I'm making this video in darkness. I am using Torchlight to make this video, telling you now that National Grid has collapsed. And you know now, fuel prices are up. 
How can you cope now? Tell me now that the national grid has collapsed. I don't understand why Nigeria problem just day too hectic that I don't know even prayer cannot solve it. In a country where we cannot buy fuel now, the light we are managing, electricity we are managing now has just collapsed. How are we going to cope? This is a national grid that collapses every AK market days. I am tired of this country. You people should help us. You people should assist us. I don't even know how to ask for assistance again in this kind of country. But I want to remind you now, my brother, my sister, national grid has collapsed. If you don't have fuel, go and get your fuel and on your generator. Look at me now. <laughs> Nationwide grid don't collapse again. Hi. Is it a crime to be in Nigeria? Is it a crime? God. See, pain. You do this one. If you get light for your area, all I'm tied to. <laughs> Make sure you charge. You cannot even have light because the way the lights went off, I knew something was wrong. If you have light, why you won't even see them? You know they Nigeria. Maybe no be Nigeria you day. Hi God, and I know I know I know charge my phone. This night I had to go and get fuel. Fuel over how much? One thousand one hundred naira per liter. What that be? Hi. She, my life never has one so spoil like this. I did Nigeria. I no get light. Actually, they use glow sim. Plus Android phone. Hi God. Osalo bwa. God help me. Nadia day. Help me. darkness <laughs> you. It is where everything will be where. I da bi di ba vote vote pain no ko. I da bi I da bi acha. Yeah, what's up? So since yesterday around six uh, forty six p.m. Now I must start to see about this collapse of national grid. So some people may not understand what national grid means. But national grid now be where all the country they generate power from. That's all the snapper light. They no good distribution company, Abuja distribution company, all the distribution companies for Nigeria. Now national grid now be the root of or uh, the root of our electricity. So now my question is after I see the thing, I can't go do small research to see what really, really they happen. I can't see, say, one, this thing has fallen seven times only today. Only this year, this national grid has collapsed seven times in 2024. But as corrupt and evil that our leaders are, not like we don't have money, not like Nigeria doesn't have money to put this thing in a permanent state. So I can't go ahead, say, make I do some research, make I even see what thing they happen, whether not, not normal thing, make it they happen. More than I read the reasons why this grid, national grid, they always fall, always collapse. More than I see them. So they know that everything, the infrastructures are no longer good. But instead of them to replace it, they'll go collect loan and call their, uh, themselves and share the loan amongst themselves so now and again because they have the big generators and they have uh, solar powers they don't even care so what i can really quantify this country to is a den of thieves yes because all our leaders are thief and then i don't know who is actually advising them and why they want to collapse this country national grid has collapsed seven times in a year in this year and yet they are comfortable because they don't even need electricity for they don't need our electricity for anything because they have their own uh, uh, um, personal electricity that they use they have generators and they have solar powers in all their offices and houses so they don't even care but now god me i want to still use this medium to tell our leaders the evil you plant will definitely germinate and one day one day you will reap the seed of what you planted more than they do, if you know affair to their game, but what of our children? And if you even notice their children, most of them know they do well. Yes, they know they do well. But it's okay. More than they do now, evil thing. We they see now and we go they talk them. More than they do them. But one day, one day the judgment of God will come upon you now.
Like seriously, I still can't comprehend how tremulous the state of electricity in Nigeria is running. This grid, not the ever tire to collapse. Because I don't understand. Now, national grid collapsing has now turned to a normal norm. It's not right. Imagine in 2024, the so-called giant of Africa cannot even enjoy that we could like we can't maintain 24 hours electricity at the MP1 giant of Africa. It's better we expunge. Or, or extirpate the word giant from giant of Africa from Nigerian name. We are called the Adi, a world of Africa because we are not giant in no we are no car. Because it 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 it, it, it is sad, vehemently sad in the sense that bro, why? Grid go collapse today. Grid go collapse tomorrow. You know they tire the grid now. Before they call and grid, make the better change the name to 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 Nepa only Warapa right now because it's bad. It's painful. Now Jen we go to blow all through. Jen 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 and normally. The fair price is not is, is not encouraging. It's nowhere fair. I just wonder the people where we say that they live below be, 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 below normal norm, normal cost of living. I just wonder the way that they take the managers or the way that they take live right now. It's bad. Why? For waiting. Little little basic things we we'll suppose they enjoy for the country. They the user they they stress us. It's oh my god, don't be so. To buy her anyway, they come and she podcast. And mama sorrow. These are social issues we are meant to tackle. These are social issues we are meant to talk about. Videos like this will not get the recognition it deserves because I need to talk about Nyash. I need to talk about... Now, wait till I want to do that. When I decrease, I want social issues. Pet, 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 pet. You know, pet, 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 show it to me. Go. I want social issues. That won't affect you. What? Call it the red Because, bro, I can't imagine a community that... Greed or no greed, bro. The light has been terrible. Why did greed come they collapse? Little things we would enjoy. Normally, before we they use over 20 hours that is in 24 hours, but right now we don't even now we they, we they use C C6 hours like that. Now, generally, blue like this. Why? So, you eat it that. Cherry, air call. If you don't have Nepal lights right now, you are not alone. Nigeria is currently experiencing a nationwide blackout and here is why. The transmission company of Nigeria, TCN, reported that the shutdown happened around 2.19 a.m. just this morning. Members of the Electricity Workers Union, who are part of the Nigerian Labour Congress, the NLC, took over the National Power Grid control rooms, forced out the operators, injured some of the TCN workers who refused to leave, and then shut down the National Power Grid. Yeah completely shut it down. They did this as part of a strike organized by the NLC to demand increase in minimum wage and a review of the rise in electricity prices. Right now, important substations are shut down. Some power plants have also stopped working and it's making the situation even worse. While the NLC often focuses on formal sector workers, part of its responsibility is to also advocate for informal workers like the market women, artisans and day laborers. As of now, the government's national assembly and union leaders are unable to reach an agreement so could this be an indefinite strike this is just crazy i'm telling you this is just crazy imagine just imagine this is happening in ghana just imagine this is happening in ghana like all of us would be mad four times national grade has collapsed like how so can't the government of nigeria or the federal state of nigeria invest in hydro nigeria has waters rivers that are flowing and the government is saying they cannot do something like that for the country i learned most of them they are into this importation of generators into the country so when there is no light they benefit because you will buy generator you will buy fuel and recently we all know nigeria you know they had subsidy on their fuel that's why their fuel was very 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 cheap but when this government, the Tinubu government came to power, they have taken off the subsidy and now the fuel prices are just skyrocketing left, right, center, left, left, right, center. When you look at Ghana, for instance, we had something similar. I think in 2012, 13, thereabouts, we had fuel subsidy. But I think the government then took off the subsidy from our fuel and since then our fuel has never been the same but i think we are used to it now but for nigeria they are not used to such buying one gallon at thousand one naira thousand naira thousand two naira they are like they are not used to that and you already know that when that happens everything in the country also the prices also skyrocket so as i'm speaking with you nigeria that we used to say that it is cheaper and all that it is not cheap anymore and i'm very sure as time goes on if this subsidy is not 
brought back, trust me, it is not going to be the same as the way it was because all the time prices will be increasing prices will be increasing and sometimes they even get fuel shortage i don't understand that one because a nation that produces fuel like this african politicians why or african leaders why are they like this all the time just frustrating us for us to pushing us to our limit i don't know nigeria see they are doing this they are doing this they are doing this as i always say one day one day one day one day one day one day something that they don't like these politicians they don't like will happen and all of them will run away from the country because same thing in ghana too the politicians have actually taken us for a ride since but one day one day one day one day something will happen and none of them will like what they will see thank you so much for watching